Come on, girls. Come on. You little witch. Come on. Okay, leave it. Leave it. Still lots of wood chipping to do in here. But I need to let yeos and lambs out. You can see there's still loads of work. Still loads of wood chipping to do. Loads and loads. These lambs don't know themselves. They have loads of space now. I'll be moving these four lambs and their mothers tomorrow to a bigger field. Because there's just rain tonight. And that should be good enough. And they have the shelter of the orchard uh, lean-to. So, yeah, you can see the piles. But we've done, I'd say we've done a third. We've either done a third or a quarter of what we need to do today. And so far the rain is holding off, thank goodness. Because doing wood chipping in the rain would not be fun. away from the wood chipper, understandably. Those two are very clever mammies. Now to release the other yeas and lambs. And to bring up other ones from the stable to put in the shed in the garden, the garden paddock shed. Come on, pup, more work to do. Out of dogs. Yeah. I'm gonna fill this up with some of the younger lambs. Uh, two mothers with um, four lambs and I'm gonna let these ones out because they've been up here for a couple of days now and they'll probably like to have some uh, get out and run around time And this evening when I feed them, I'll shake the bucket and these two mothers and their three lambs will go in. Such a big, you've got the big, huge yo lamb, don't you? Very handsome girl. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Hello. So, hopefully we get the loan, continued loan of the wood chipper. I'm wrecked. And tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to do this half of the orchard. So we've done one half or maybe not quite one half, but we've done a huge amount. You can see the mountain of wood chip over there. So hopefully we'll be able to do a lot of damage to the remainder of this um, major pruning event that occurred here in the orchard. I'm calling it a day. It's, oh, I think it's about 3.30 or something. So I gotta do the rounds, feed animals, and check the flock. Mind you, Susan's been helping while I've been up here working. And I'm very grateful that I had help today, and hopefully I'll have help tomorrow to make this job much easier. Now, you can see here She's the babysitter out of the two yos. 
She has the four lambs around her, all snoozing and asleep. You can see it's rather lovely. So livestock do this, or herbivores. So she's the babysitter with all the lambs snoozing around her. And then I cast the video this way and there's the other mother out grazing in amongst a lot of the uh, orchard prunings. She said she's reassuring the lamb saying, oh, I'm still here. I'm not very far away. And lambs, sometimes when they sleep, they look like they've broken their necks. Look at this lamb here. Oh, I just woke it up. Sorry, little girl, you lamb. These two are nice and cozy. Look at how lovely and cozy these two are. They're using both the uh, pile of prunings in the tree or a windbreak. And the lamb there is using her mama as a windbreak. Okay, see you guys later for your supper time, or rather your mama's supper time.